Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry. Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranig. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and save my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Spishek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. And a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear how I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. Now, we have more urgent matters to deal with, hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son.
Indeed, hey, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags, and it has been an interesting couple of episodes. Okay. I was not expecting a uh, armed force out in front Awake of the house. already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Okay. And work going here. I don't think we need that. I've got work. Can, Can I ask? ask? Uh, no, that's Thank all you. stuff we've actually covered before. That's all I wanted to know. If yeah, I don't set off right now to deliver the message to Sir Divish, Listen there's a good up, chance our men will lose the battle. Be a long night. I can't let and that no happen. Easy pickings. I All want right. every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. That makes it pretty clear that we have to ride. Yeah. That being said, I am going to... That being said, I'm going to make one quick stop on the way before we go. Should be this one here. Alright, so that's the weapons fixed. Quickly up to the armourer. exactly the same thing and get the armor in order and apparently I can't apparently he's up why is he locked yeah right, I can make up this lost time on the horse on the ride so that's not too much of an issue but there's no easy place to get all the armor repaired at Talmberg, and I'm not entirely sure I'm going to have another spot to be able to do it, so this all needs to be fixed right now. Ah, god damn it. Is something the matter? Yes. God almighty. Has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Yes, this is why I'm here to talk to you. Alright. And he's not going to give me the option to Good luck, fix. Man. Come on, get in there. Get in there so I can actually get a repair. Go on, over at your forge. Come on. Good. There. Now I should have the option. I'm just going to close the deal on this one. Cool. Now it's time to go to Talmberg. Yeah. Alright, so, the, um, now I've actually managed to get all that sorted out. The last couple of episodes have been rather interesting. First, yeah. the twist. I've had a few messages asking me, what do I think of the twist? I'll be honest, it wasn't much of a twist. Um, about, like, 15 episodes ago. Don't exactly remember which one it was, but there's a scene in a camp where you're talking to Sir Radzig and he drops a line at the end of a cinematic that uh, actually clues you into the fact that he's Henry's dad. The only information that uh, with the whole thing that I'm sort of curious about at this point is exactly, you know, the finer details on the whole thing. Yeah. Radzig is obviously Henry's father, but who is the mother? Is it the mother that Henry thought it was? Did Sir Radzig cuff the blacksmith and get Henry underway. Hey guys. You're really slow, you know that. I've managed to get all my shit repaired and you're only making the bridge at the mill. And you're blocking me up in the process. Anyways, um, yeah, did he cut the blacksmith? Is the person that Henry called mother not actually his mother and he was just put into the care of the blacksmith and his wife? I'm sure we're going to find all this out eventually, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm unsure on the details here. Which one of uh, Henry's quote-unquote parents was actually, well, was either of them his parents at all? Have we been riding around, you know, looking for revenge for our foster parents? Although, 
if he grew up his entire life in their care, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, does it? Still. Can I get up around you? It's like trying to overtake on the highway. Yeah. There we go. Somebody doing 80 in a 100 zone pisses me off every single time. Alright, so from here we're just going to ride straight north and we're going to go to Talmberg and get the next part of this up, rouse the armies. Hopefully uh, everybody up that end is pretty happy to send down as many men as they can. I've done some pretty good work up in Talmberg. Quite a lot of good work. Uh, Lady Stephanie will back me up on that one. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to get a decent force put together. And we'll be able to deal with this arsehole and get that damn sword back finally. Anyways, on to Talmberg. And Talmberg, finally. So the ride here has actually been rather quiet, and nothing attacked us on the way through. I was sort of expecting ambushes on the road, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it up the hill. Yeah. Upstairs, and judging by where that shield is, probably, yep, in the dining room. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Saradzig and Hanush. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sasau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. <sighs> Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. Of course. I have some scores to settle with them. That is definitely different gear to what I was wearing when I showed up. Doesn't look half bad though.
not that a bunch of shiny men on brightly coloured horses were ever going to be able to sneak up on this place. miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. <laughs> Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. Okay. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other side? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robard and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Wouldn't mind knowing what armor Henry is actually Listen supposed up to now. have on there. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. 
and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it. Forward! I'm honestly surprised I wasn't sent around the back to um, to bust in through the rear, considering that's how I escaped. I thought that's where they were going to send me. Archers, fire! Oh, now that is cool. <laughs> you guys coming or what? Uh, hurry up. Go make me a hole. Better not let Adamish get ahead of me. That was easy. Henry, go with the men and flush out anyone left around the tents. Put it up, keep up on us from behind. Oh. 
It's actually relatively easy because what they're doing is they're targeting the AI and so I get free reign and with my, uh, well, with Henry's current skills, giving me free reign behind them is a very big mistake. Next to the top gate. Another one. I think you need a bigger log, guys. once and for all, that's all of them. Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. We have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. All right. Well, there's probably going to be more cutscenes coming up. So first things first. Let's take off the hound skull because that is annoying now. All right. So his base is in here. It's nothing but plates. A letter. What does the letter say? Is it a quest item? <laughs> yes, so, despite our minor troubles and Preslavis, I must say that everything is proceeding according to plan. I have managed to muster as many men that the losses we have suffered are of little consequence. I believe we'll soon succeed in seizing the castle of which we previously spoke. <laughs>
castle were they going after? There's only really two, it has to be Ratte or Talberg. So this was all I could find. A letter? It'll be Talberg. What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside read. hunting, drinking, and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. <laughs> That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it mm, seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> If you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Townberg. Did he go to Townberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. You'll never get. What? <laughs> We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk. I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Well, to be fair, I was about to suggest doing the same thing, but I was going to start a thing and work my way up until I got a name, but, yeah. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Others. Yes, sir. This place could actually be quite the bastard to get inside of. With the um, with the drawbridge raised, it's nearly sheer on all sides. Oh, oh no! We're too late. 
quickly! Follow me! Hope you know another way in, mate. So first things first, before anything else happens, let's put that helmet back on again because we got fights. Lift the port color. There's not enough of us here. So I'm gonna take the other Bailey. That's all of them. like a man <laughs> I don't think so I like it better right here would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp I could just as easily cut her throat I have hostages enough and strong walls to protect me bring him here how the hell did you get caught Radzik? Radzik? 
What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Kingdom Come Deliverance will be returning to the channel again very soon. And until next time, take care.